Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. This is going to be the third installment of the Sweater Romper by Lolin Kids. I saw this amazing hack in their group for an envelope style romper, which just means that the back is cut into two pieces and one side features an elastic while the other side is just hemmed and looks like a shirt over it. This is perfect if you don't want to do the snaps at the bottom because it makes it super easy for diaper changes. And if you want to get some of this fabric, it's available at Trendy Fabrics. Um, you'll also notice that in the group they made it this way with the elastic portion on the top. But once we get to the side seams, I mean sewing the side seams, you'll be able to choose in which way you want to do it. You know, with the elastic on the top or the elastic on the bottom. The way that I did it, you know, I just like to make things my own. And I did it this way so that it looks more like a top in the back. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as always, here are the pattern pieces that we're going to need for this sweater romper. We have the front, the back, the sleeves. I already have my elastic cut out. I'll let you know how that goes. The neck band. I like to use the Bummies leg bands. I'm not a fan of the leg bands from the sweater romper, but whichever one you want to do, I have that also here. Uh, whichever one you decide, just go for it. And then we have the cuffs. So, of course, we're going to need two sleeves two cuffs one neck band and two leg bands for the elastic charts uh the girl who made this hack let us know that she did add an inch to the original cinched elastic length and then she divided it by two so that's what i did to get this measurement for a size 2t and then you're going to cut out the front just like normal but the back I actually folded up my pattern piece here and when I cut the top of the of the back I added two inches so I added two inches and then I went ahead and folded it this way and when I cut out the bottom of the back I added 1.5 inches so just make sure that when you're cutting out your pattern pieces you add that extra length and you are going to have two separate pieces. So a separate piece for the top of the back with two inches extra and a separate piece for the bottom of the back with that 1.25 inch extra. So now let's show, uh, go ahead and show you the pattern pieces. I will let y'all know that I messed up and I cut the front the same as the back, but I went ahead and corrected it. It's still gonna be cut <laughs> uh, through here because I didn't wanna waste any fabric. So I'm just gonna use it as my front but just so y'all know in case you notice a little discrepancy but hopefully that doesn't confuse you only the back should be in two pieces okay so again your front piece should just be one continuous piece and then we're going to work on the back pieces now so for this top piece uh, i'm just going to go ahead and hem it like i normally would uh, with my half inch and the bottom is the one that we're we're going to have this elastic go through. So I'm going to hem it a little bigger, more like 5 eighths of an inch, just so that my half inch elastic is going to slide through. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then come back. But again, all I'm doing is folding these to create little hems. And I'll be back. Okay, so this is the bottom piece. And next you want to grab two safety pins and your elastic. The first safety pin we're gonna use to shimmy it all the way down. And you want to make sure that you don't lose the end, so that's why I like to add the second one to the end. So add one to both ends, shimmy it through, and then using the same safety pin, clip it here and clip it here to secure it. So I'm going to do that next. So you can see what I mean. I just secured the end of this elastic here. I'm still shimmying the rest through, but I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. So here's what that should look like. Both ends of the elastic are secure, so we make sure that they're not going to move anywhere. So next I'm going to grab the tops uh, of the top of my front piece and the top of my back piece and sew them together at the shoulders. So it should look like this. Remember that this is the hemmed part and all I'm going to do is sew right here and right here to get the shoulders attached. Okay, so I sewed those down and next I just opened it up like this so that we can add our sleeves. You just want to make sure that you're sewing these right sides together so it'll look a little something like this and make sure that you're using 
the widest part of the sleeve to attach it to uh, the shoulder side over here. So I'm going to do both sleeves and then I'll actually head on over and show you on the machine what the next step looks like. But for now, just attach your two shoulders to the whole romper. Okay, so next we are going to do the bottom of the romper. So what I'm going to do is just line it up with the crotch over here. So the crotch is all lined up and then the sides are all lined up like this and the envelope part goes over the other part. I'm just going to make sure that everything is lining up. If you want to add some pins, go for it. So like I'm adding a pin here and then I'm going to make sure that it's lined up with the, what is that? The armpit. And then I'm just going to smooth these out and see kind of where they land. Depending on where they land, I'm just going to add another pin right there. So we're going to use this to um, help us out and gauge where everything needs to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my serger and show y'all how this goes or how I'm going to do it. Okay. So, again, I'm just going to follow along with my starting point here. Take out my pin. And just make sure that everything stays lined up. We are going to have to take out this pin and this safety pin. And just make sure that you're holding on to everything. Now I'm going to take my safety pin out, and when you take this off, make sure that you're still holding on to the elastic there. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm pushing everything down. And that seems good. And then as far as our little armpit seam, just want to make sure it's lined up as well. and go all the way to the end of the arm. Okay, here's what that looks like. My stitching is a little off, like my serger settings, so I apologize for that. Um, but here's what that looks like. Wait, you can't even see. Here's what that looks like. Oh no, it looks like I missed a spot. Yeah, I missed like a little thing. So just make sure that when you're surging that all your layers are good. I'm just going to go back over that spot this way. That way we can cover it. I'm just going to cut. If you ever miss a spot, it's really easy to just go back over it like that. Um, but now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other side and making sure now that everything is going to line up the exact same and then we'll finish off this romper here in a bit. Okay, so next I'm going to do all of my leg cuffs and stuff like that. So I just put everything right sides together. Here's the arm cuffs. We're going to fold it there. I mean, sew it here and here. For those, here is the neckband. Also going to sew this down here and then with our leg cuffs everything is going to be right sides together. So here, last leg cuff, same thing. So here. So first I'm going to do the neck band. I've done more like in-depth videos on how I do this, but for any of my quick and dirty girls out there, <laughs> or sewist, I should say. I just grab the middle. I find the center back. Usually mine has a little point just because of how I cut it. And then I place that there and that's where I'm going to start sewing and then I just stretch as I go. So let me show you all that. Okay, again, starting at the center back. Once I've sewed over it a little bit and making sure that my needle is down, all I do is just stretch it to fit the hole. So I know how much I have to stretch it as I go. 
And then I just saw it all down. So I'm keeping this for my daughter, I'm not adding a tag. And then I wanted to show y'all how I finish it off. So I keep sewing, keep sewing. I move it a little bit over because I don't want the knife to cut. And then I lift my presser foot and I serge it off. That just ensures a nice finish. Again, my serger tensions are off, but I'm too lazy to fix it right now. I know how to fix it, I'm just too lazy. So all I do is snip it off. And then we have a nice little neckband stretched out perfectly. You know what I mean? I'm going to do the exact same thing with the arms and the legs, and then I'll be back. Oh wait, I forgot something. Quick tip here if you want your seams to match up. So when I fold this, this little serger part is pointing that way. So that means that I want these little thingies to point the other way, to point to the right while the other one is pointing to the left and then you just kind of butt them together like this. I'm gonna really push them together. Hopefully this is focusing. I'm gonna really push them together. And I'm going to just really butt them up against each other. And that's how I'm going to start. Again, with the same way as my neck band, but I just like to really hold it on there. And then once I go over that spot, then I just go back to my regular stretching ways. You feel me? Wait, I'm gonna finish these off and then come back. Here I am with the legs. I know a lot of people uh, struggle with this, but if you get really good stretchy rib net, like from Trendy Fabrics, it's a breeze. So here I am just stretching it. Like, look at that. It stretches out perfectly to fit this leg hole. And we are all done. Little cuffs. Little leg cuffs over here. And it is beautiful, perfect. Again, if you want to do the version where the elastic part is over the top, uh, just switch these out when you're sewing the sides. But that is everything. Such an easy hack. So cute, so adorable. Can't wait to show this to my daughter. She's taking a nap right now. I'm going to go ahead and join her. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Please share with your friends, and I'll catch you all in the next video.